What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today, today, I mean, you you can read the title, right? I mean, I assume you can read the title. Ninety nine point nine percent of you can probably read the title, so you know what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna be talking about the pen that I've had for the longest amount of time in my collection. If you watched the last video I posted, you know that sometimes I love a pen, I fall in love with it, and then I fall out of love with it, and I sell it, and then I'm all like, bummer, and then I repurchase it. <laughs> <laughs> but not in this instance. This instance, I've had it since day one. Uh, so the very first fountain pen I ever purchased was the Pilot Metropolitan, but I sold that, regretted it down the line, and repurchased. So it can't count anymore because I didn't have it. I sold it for a while. But this one I purchased in 2015, I believe. It was my very first gold nib, and it is... The Platinum Century 3776 in Chartreuse Bleu. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you watched the last video I posted on the uh, top three pens that I, you know, sold and regretted, uh, you'll know that I went through an entire cup of coffee and it's starting to hit me now. Um, so, the Platinum 3776, first gold nib I ever bought, uh, and I bought it pretty close to the time of the my Pilot Custom 74. Fun fact, that's on the other video. Spoilers if you haven't watched it. Um, I bought that at the same time, 2015, and I still have it because I still love it. It is not one that is 100% always in my inked up rotation, but when it is, I absolutely adore it. Uh, it was my all-time favorite pen for a very long time. It has since been dethroned, but it was in that top coveted spot for many, many years. Um, and now I really, really go for it when I want a super fine line with some feedback. So this is a fine nib and it is a very fine nib. It is a Japanese fine, so it is definitely fine. Uh, the platinum pens are a little bit of a uh, stiffer writing experience and they are a bit of a toothier writing experience. It is still smooth in the sense that the tines are perfectly aligned. The um, tipping material is very well polished. It's just such a fine line that there's going to be some feedback. You do feel it moving across the page. Not many of my pens have that anymore but sometimes I do desire it. And that is when I reach for this pen because there are no other pens that compare to this pen, in my opinion, for a smooth and yet feedback feel. Um, so I really, really love it. I also love the slip and seal uh, mechanism on the inside so that when I do ink it up, I can have it inked up for quite a while, not use it daily, um, but still reach for it when I want to. And for whatever reason, I tend to always put Diatramentis Cola in this pen. No rhyme or reason. I just do to the point where the feed still <laughs> smells like Diatramentis Cola. Um, so really, really, really like it. Um, and I just, I can't see myself selling it. Um, it just, it fits really nicely in my hand. There's just, there's just a comfort factor to this pen that I've never once been able to explain. Um, I don't know if it's because it was my first gold nib. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because, ah. Uh, if it's because I just, I just fell in love when I first used it. I don't know. There's just something about this pen that like, just, it feels like a hug when I use it. That's, that's all I can explain it with. Really. It just gives me a good vibe when I write with it. So I'm going to stop mumbling and actually show you how it writes. So yeah, I can't explain it, but for whatever reason, this is just my go-to. Uh, and also, for whatever reason, this is like one of the oldest inks that I have in my collection. Uh, probably because I only tend to use it in this pen. Uh, I am going to dip it for today because it's not actually inked up. So let's see if I can do this on camera. Tend not to be able to do things on camera anymore. Because <laughs> it's very difficult to do that through a, through a teeny tiny screen. Alright, let's... Right, shall we? All right. 
So this isn't a gusher of a pen, but it is fairly wet. Uh, it is ever so slightly wetter right now just because I, I did just dip it. Uh, you do get some line variation, but it is absolutely not a flex pen. And you can reverse write if you want to, but I don't see why, because to be honest, like this is such a fine nib. Uh, if you're used to Western nibs, uh, it's certainly an extra fine. It is a very, very fine nib. Um, it is super, super smooth, but you do get some feedback. Uh, more feedback than I'm used to with most of my pens now but it's just because it's extraordinarily fine. Like, let me, believe it or not guys, the only other pen that I have inked up at the moment is my Bennu Briolette. This has a fine nib. And I'll write the word hello. The ink in this one, by the way, is uh, Diamine Ancient Copper. And then I will write the word hello. So that's what I mean by like Western, fine, Japanese, fine. <laughs> Definitely a big, big difference. But just because you have that feedback, sort of like writing with the pencil. If, if you've ever written with like a, a sharp number two pencil, that's really what this feels like. Where it, it's perfectly smooth, it's perfectly tuned, it writes under its own weight, which is uh, impressive because this is a very light pen. Uh, but you definitely notice some feedback. Uh, and it's been a while since I've actually used this, and I think I might actually ink it up <laughs> uh, and just keep it inked up because I kind of miss it. And like I said, for whatever reason, this ink is just awesome. I love it quite a bit. Uh, but let me know down in the comment section down below, what is the pen that you've had for the longest in your collection uh, and why? Is it just because you don't ever like sell or give away pens? Uh, is it just because you like it? Like, let me know. And I'm curious to see what it is. Uh, while you're down there, you might as well hit the like and subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Tuesday. Uh, and if you're super kind, check out the description for the link to my Patreon if you would like to help support me and what I do here. And as always, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.